One, what's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to some more Soul Shaker Studios and today we are Three, two, one, what's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to more Mega Man Chrono X demo number five Today we are here picking off where we left off the last episode We met two new friends, we've got Tyro and the new neighbor Archer with their battle navy Zeta and Commando Man Last episode, we managed to deal with the preliminary, the second round preliminaries for the tournament, and now we've been called down to the Scilab to go see what the hell Dad has new projects going on. That sounds like a little bit of fun. You got any cool sub chips for me, man? You got any unlocker? I'll buy an unlocker. That sounds good. I'll buy one unlocker. It's always good to carry one unlocker with you. Or more, probably. But, you know, this guy's running around. What does he have to say? But, let me before I, let me finish the intro before I do get sidetracked. So, now we're heading over to the side lab. Going to talk to Dad, see what his new project is. And, apparently, these two have a little inside of what this project is. So, we have to find out who they really are. Um, because, I think, at this point, Zeta has saved us before when we had a little fight with Raven back a few episodes ago. But, if you haven't already, make sure you go down in the description down below. Check out the first and full playlist link down below if you want to watch the whole series. Kind of weird picking off on a series just middle of it. You know, it'll be... A little strange. So thank you guys very much though. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join Salt Chicken Studios, and let's get a little salty in our playthroughs. Even though we don't really get salty too much in this playthrough. Uh I can't even really recall what playthroughs I get salty in. I haven't really had played a good Rager. Uh that makes any sense. We don't have permission to go in here. Where the hell's dad's office? Is it over here? No, this is the oxygen room. Oh, there's dad. Lol, ran right past him. I yeah, haven't officially gotten salty, but you're more than welcome to get salty here on Salt Shaker Studios. Alright, no problem. These two guys wanted to come as well. Hey, it's alright if they come see what you're working on too? Oh, I see. I see that you are already acquainted with Archer and Tyro. Of course, they can see the project. It concerns them as well. Dr. Stellar is busy right now, and you'll have to and I'll have to show you. Finally, I want to see this baby in action. Head on over to the main computer room, and I'll show you there. You will need this to get in, Lan. Lan God Computer Room Key. So these two have been working on the project with Dad. So I think... Awesome, can't wait to see what this is. Hmm, but I wonder why Dad knows Archer and Tryro. Doesn't matter now, let's, let's go see things. So here's my hypothesis. The big thing that Mega Man Chrono X has been pushing was uh, Battle Souls, or Navi's Fusing. I think we're about to unlock that here. I think that's the big project coming around. So I think that Zeta and Commando Man are going to find a way to share uh, Battle Souls with Mega Man here. It was a common feature in Battle Man, uh, ba Battle Man Mega Man Battle Network, Red Sun and Blue Moon. Um, that was a very prominent feature where you could fuse with Roll and Guts Man and everyone else. I think it was also a feature in White, uh, White and Blue also, that they had like a little spirit you could give. It was like an element kind of thing. Which kind of nice. So let's see what this project really is. I'm about to switch over to the view of the program. Take a look. Huh? What's that? My fellow colleagues and I have named this X, the X pro program. This program has the ability to increase its power and at an exponential rate. It becoming as strong as we need it to, hence its name. A weapon? Why would you guys need something like that? Lan, there might be another threat coming, and if it does, we would really, uh, we would like to be ready. Another threat? But aren't they? So that's the program they're after. Okay. We would need to be ready. What do you guys mean? Well, you see, Lan. The siren. Someone's penetrated the Silab's labs defenses. Warning! Warning! Unknown party accessing system. Proper security codes entered by unknown entity. Again, who could be doing it this time? Archer, we need to protect the X program. That's what they're after. Right. Who is this? We don't have time to discuss this. All we need to do is get that X program and fast. Let's all jack in. You guys can use this computer. I'll lead, I'll lead directly uh, to where the X program is located. Tap, 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 tap. You all can jack in now. They won't know what hit him. Go, Commando Man! Zeta, show him who's boss. Send the alien, there's no time to lose. Right, Mega Man. 
Jack in, Mega Man, execute. Oh boy, it's hitting the fan. So this X program can apparently get as powerful as they need it to be. That's one hell of a power system if you really think about it. So here's Commando Man and Zeta, who look fan-fucking-tastic, if I might add that. Excuse my language, but damn. I will cuss from time to time, as you guys see throughout the, uh, the series here and there. But good now, Dare Protect, the X program with your life. Tyro is right. Mega Man, you head over there and guard the X program. It's over there. You'll be our last line of defense. I will be over the side lab area too. Commando Man, you're in side area number one. Understood. Dodger. <sighs> you gave him the boring job. Trying to hog all the fun, Zeta? No, he has the most important one. It should be still be easy for him. He did save the world plenty of times, after all. Sounds like you think he could beat us both. Losing confidence, Zeta? Think what you want, my friend. Backup is still coming. They will arrive here momentarily. Yeah. If it's them, if it's them, we do the usual. You put me on the front lines, so it looks like I'm scoring higher than yours. Still playing that game? Are you not tired of that? Oh, come on, Zeta. You're just getting slow. I'm going to delete so many, my score will go through the roof. Still, you think Red Infinity is attacking? Who else would it be? Attacking Scilab, the incident at the concert? It has to be them. So clearly, they know who Red Infinity is, and Lan and Mega Man don't. Can I buy something to you? Okay, well, you're healing. Recovery 80. Barrier 100. Ice Stage. Mag bomb, yo yo. That's so like 80 because it like goes forward and back. Tornado. Mm, I'll probably pick up this and a health boost, and I'll get the. Yeah, I'll take those two. Chip folder. Recover 80. Uh, well, we no longer need these tens, I guess. And we did get the other health boost now. So let's go ahead and hit that save button. <sighs> Getting kind of nervous. It'll be fun. So we have to go over here. So this is the X program, huh? Lan, I've reached the X program. Good luck, Mega Man. How our defenses look, Chiro? So far? Nothing unusual. Nothing on my end either. Maybe it was a false alarm. Man, I hate false alarms. Hmm. A firewall system could be bugged. A call in a repair team. <sighs> I guess we got worked up over nothing. Did I jack out, man? It. Hold the phone. I made visual contact on the hostiles. Here they come. But it wasn't a false alarm after all. Oh, shit. There are a lot of enemies. It's time to wipe them out. Oh, that was cool. I appreciate that they kind of kept the red tint so the blinding white light wouldn't, like, you know, blind us. Back! You won't reach the X program. As if you guys can stop us. <laughs> uh. Uh. Archer, they're heading towards your location. Take care of them, will ya? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That was really underwhelming because they just kind of walked past Zeta. <laughs> through here, under oh, sorry, they walked your commando man. Understood. You will fall beneath the might of Red Infinity. Quiet. Whoa! Roaches. Help him out, Mega Man. Roger. No! Don't you dare! Your mission is to stay there and protect the X program. Don't move unless you have to. But Mega Man can help you guys out. We'll be fine. Trust us. Let us do our part, Lan. Ugh. The more helps on the way, I think he's coming. Give me the Chad. Oh, it's Dr. Stellar. I was waiting for, like, Chad to walk in or something. So it's Red Infinity again. Dr. Stellar! Dad! Dad! Wait! Dad? Yeah, I'm Archer Stellar. Archer, land, save it for later. 
I'll get right to the point. Land, that X program has the defensive capabilities, and we need them activated. It does? Quick, tell me how to activate them. Listen up, there are eight data chips scattered around Slylab's net. You need to collect all eight and charge the X program with them. We planned to activate the X program some time ago, but didn't get a chance to when the recent hacking. Gotcha, I just didn't find eight data chips. Mega Man, let's roll. Good luck, and most of all, be careful. I'll have the squad surround the X program. Now go! Dr. Stillman and I will try to protect the Scilab's data. Okay, so I played Mega Man Star Force, and the main character's name is Geo Stellar. Then his dad, who goes missing, his name is Kevin Stellar. Or Calvin Stellar. Who's Archer? Is that like, is this an OC? Is this kind of like, is Stellar kind of like a little throw in there? Um. Hang on, I'm Googling this. Are these just, is this just like a little Easter egg? Um. Because if I'm not mistaken, they don't take that far apart, do they? Or is it like 200 year kind of thing? He's 11 year old. My father disappeared while working on Saturday Night Speed, Night in Space. His name is Geo Stellar. Game history. Mega Man Star Force. Uh. Okay. When does how far does this play take place after Mega Man Battle Network? Uh. Uh, that's strange. Let's look this up quick, because I'm interested in this. Mega Man Battle Network. Battle Network. Star Force. Friends. I thought that they weren't that far apart. Uh, strange. Hmm. That's really strange. Yeah, I thought that Star Force uh, was just after, like just a little bit after the Battle Network within the Mega Man time frame. I, I didn't realize that uh, is... Okay, so it's it's uh, it's 2020 so it's 220 x is the year is when the year takes pl is when that takes place and so when does battle network take place in then huh does it tell me plot oh it's like a 200 is the okay so i don't actually know so the confusing thing here is i don't actually know if that if because it goes 20xx right so this is the year 20xx um or 200 yeah yeah 20xx is was written there and that's so confusing how does this work the so battle network is The series is set in the year 200X. Okay. So when is Star Force set in then? That's 200X. Star Force is set in... 220X. So that's 20 years later than Mega Man. Then the battle network. So yeah, because Lan is like an actual scientist at this point. He's married to Melu. They have a, a son named Patch and blah blah blah. So Geo Stellar comes over twenty years later. So Calvin Stellar, that's what he looks like. Hmm. Strange. I don't know. 
So I guess so I guess it's still 20 years. So Geo's not even born at this point, obviously. I'm not like saying that he would be. Um, but I'm just confused, like, who's Calvin? Who's Arch like because it's only 20 years. It's not like these are great grandparents here. So I'm guessing Archer is just like an OC of the Stellar, and they're just using like maybe they're like cousins to Geo or something. Oh, or something along those lines. That that that's kind of what I'm getting at here. Get him. He doesn't have any more reinforcements. Go oh, on, Mega Man. They will not get through. Yeah, that, that that's what I'm confused about right now. Is like, is this cousin? Is this close family? Like, are these brothers or something like that? Oh my God! You want some die, bitch? I will drop you on your forehead. Uh, but yeah, I'm. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Like, is this just an OC? Um, I know it is an OC because th there's no mention of Archer Stellar in uh, Star Force. But still, that that's just it's just confusing me. Like, who? I guess maybe they'll reveal later on if Doctor Stellar's name is actually Calvin. Um, because Calvin looked like a very happy-go-lucky kind of guy, right? So unless like that. So unless like Archer is like would be Geo's no wouldn't he be Geo's grandpa, right? Because Archer is Lan's age and Lan is is just a father at that point and Patch is still a kid, so it's like what the hell? I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking about it too much. Maybe it's just just like a fan service kind of Easter egg thing. Like I'm still okay with that, uh, but now I want answers, which is good. Like I want answers. I want to know how Archer is related to Geo. Uh, and that there just builds more story and then wants me to play this game more so I can find out answers because you know The important things in the game is when something pulls you in like this especially in a fan game You're like, okay Well, how are they making this person related to this person and th that's what I want to find out which is good Sorry for that little time that I did <laughs> Oof really oof so Sorry for that time. I did just take out I will make up I'll go for a little bit of a longer or try and just get Action pack this episode. I don't really know how long I took with that, but maybe I'll go for like an extra five minutes on this episode uh, I am sorry about that. The music is being weird because it's not like changing properly, but I guess that's just how it's supposed to be right now We'll just let it ride this part. Oh, so he falls back and then he pushes up Because in the normal game, he usually just stays up there and just harasses you like a dickhead Come here kitty! Here kitty 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 kitty! Okay, so it's a, it's a it's a it's a wide sword. Gotcha. I always thought the I thought the elect sword was always a was always a long sword. I was wrong. Yeah. <sighs> perfect. Perfect. So keep pushing through. Be on guard. All right, we got this. Oh my. Okay. I've never seen these crab guys before, so I am scared. Oh shit, they're boomerangs? Not good. Yeah, I, 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 oh no. Oh shit, I didn't actually use my health card. Oh god, I just got him good. Whew. This guy's still gonna be a pain in the butt though. That's not the good part. Okay, got him down to a considerable amount of health though. Okay, good, got him. Whew, that's annoying. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very interested to find out uh, who uh, Archer is in relation to Geo. Good health. Okay. Oh, God, they turn on a dime like that. Oh, no, 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 no,
Oh, move, move. No, 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 no. Oh no, give me time, give me time, give me time. I thought it was gonna come down first! I didn't- Okay, so, does it start moving when it gets in front of me then? Oh, that's so confusing. We just got deleted. When was the last time I saved? Oh no! Why is the screen all black? I have to relaunch the game. Oh no! Okay. Relaunch the game. Mild panic. Oh! That is so... So disappointing. Nice. Oh, have I not? Okay. We just have to go over here. So, we've already read all the text. I'm just gonna hit skip now. I'm just gonna skip that because we've already gone through all that. Just catch up a little bit. Okay, so let's see if there's any cards around here in the Scilab Square, because you never know. Oh, Nav Customs. Where the barrier attracts Aquaviruses? This is Act 1. Oh, I don't have enough fucking pull. Come back alive? We'll do, sir. We'll do. Are there any, like, little chips lying around here? A little, little, you know what I'm saying? A little... Give a little save arena. A little save arena. Yeah, so let's find those chips. I want to be very thorough uh, with finding that because those viruses are a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, that 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 combination I just fought there, not fun. Not fun. We gotta battle this guy. Now you want some? Die. Well, I don't plan on it, bud. Oh, hit him once. Pfft. Weak. Come here, get a little closer to me. Okay, I totally whiffed that. Ow. Yeah, it's worth the trade. Worth the trade, boys. It's worth the trade. Yeah, do some of that damage. Ow! What a dickhead. Get that health back. Health back real quick. Nice and quick. Good health, good health. Ugh. Oh god, the spacing mechanics he uses. God. What an annoyance. No. We got this. It's winnable. Perfect. There we go. Oof. Oof indeed. Any more data chips? Oh, shit. Should have saved. No. Oh, no. Perfect. So it's good to know that those, uh, I don't know if it's because he was standing on an ice panel or not, but it's good to know that, uh, actually, no, I can do. Wow, that goes all the way to the end. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. All right, come at me. Tornado gun's so much fun. Aqua whirl. What do you do? Uh, 
Uh, you range your whirl attack clo uh, to closest enemy. How much damage? 70? Slams further enemy, so it attacks the enemy that's the furthest away. Hmm. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't need corn shot. Corn shots, meh. I don't, I don't have many fire chips that can benefit from a combo off of it, so. Here's another data chip. So we've got three. Now, is there going to be four in this area? That's the real question. Oh no. I guess the way he moved, it hit twice there. That was kind of cool. Charging up. Bamboo from the ass. Nice bug frag. Nope. That way. Okay. Looks like we have to go that way now. Stay in front of this guy because this guy was a pain in the ass again. Because I really don't want to go too far back. Uh, this episode might run a little bit longer. So. Gonna have to take damage at this point. Yeah, gonna take damage because that hole's there. Yeah. No, oh, it came back around, yes! things where we just constantly save after some sort of engagements because that is annoying as shit and so we go I'm not touching that oh goodness <sighs> I have to do a double battle with these guys that's gotta be stupid Good. Oh, I think they can only have three enemies on their side of the field. So maybe if I actually keep this cannon alive, I'll benefit me more. Because these guys, if I'm not mistaken, only do longsword and like heavy cannonball bomb. Slowly whittle this guy down. I want to try and start hitting the guy with more health now. Um. Whatever this lightning hits, that's fine. That's okay. Perfect, he just replaced it. Taking my time, and I know the other guy's on 20, so he's just a simple charge shot away, right? Like, he, he, he's fine, like, he, he's manageable. He just, oh, he, look, he walked right into it, what a nerd. Okay, now he can call in another help. Get a wide sword or the elect sword, that'd be awesome. Nope. Call up my thunder. Shit. 
Not that he's a hard enemy to deal with, it's just now it's just, just more motion I have to put in. Oh, this can just does 80. Get out of here. Get out of here! Alright. No, it's just a simple little cannon. Little double delete up in that. I'm just saving because I really don't want to run face first into something stupid right now. Keep going around. There's still so many left. I gotta keep fighting. You useless officials don't stand a chance. Long live right in fit of me. Bring it. You won't win. Yes. How do I get over there? Ugh. Perfect! Ah hey! 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 Shut up! Winnable. Winnable. Completely winnable. We got another mock gun? Yeah! Nice! Ooh. Not gonna lie, I like it a lot more than the Vulcan sometimes, that thing. Because there's like a chance to do like a hundred damage on, on the strafe or something, or even more. Just such a nice, such a nice weapon. You ever just go the wrong way like a dumbass? I saw it right up there and I went the wrong way. Just like, what, what am I doing? Please just hit someone. Thank you. When does he start to move? It's, it's when he's on the blue. Okay. Okay. No! Okay. I can't figure this guy out and I don't like it. Okay. Gotcha. I hate that guy! Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna end the episode here. It's been like... 32 minutes right now. I'm gonna see just where we are in the game. Because every time I get a game over, it just like loads into a black screen. I don't know why, maybe it's a full screen mode thing. But, thank you guys very much for tuning in this episode of Mega Man Chrono X. I know we ended it on a bad note, but... Mmm, that virus was annoying. Oh, he's a pain in the ass. Where am I? It, it, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just grab you. I'm actually right here. Perfect. So I'm going to save right here. Thank you guys very much for tuning in this episode once again. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys do check out the full playlist down below. It will start from episode one. And uh, subscribe while you're down there if you enjoyed. So I have a little hardship going on here. We tried to, we struggled a little bit against that one fucking Beyblade guy. He's a pain in the ass. Without further ado though, we will see you sexy beast next episode. Peace.